Lou Wasserman lured Hitch, Mr. Hitchcock away from Paramount by building him his own little studio within the studio at Universal. And so when Mr. Hitchcock discovered how fast his television crews worked and how much less expensive they were, he concocted a project he'd always wanted to do called Psycho. And he made it on the back lot and we went to work the same as we did every other day, but we were just beginning to work with the master in a, in a very um, different kind of black and white project too, in the middle of Technicolor. He felt that conceptually that project deserved black and white because he didn't want to do the blood because it would be red and he felt it was more vivid when the mind puts the colors in. I was on set exactly as I had been on the anthologies. And so I was able to watch day in and day out real filmmaking with the master and be a part of problem solving every day. What did he teach you about costume? Costumes? Mm -hmm. Particularly, I remember his saying, you will laugh at yourself with what you're wearing in 10 years and it will come around again in 20. And that has always stuck with me because his sense of classicism often make his films stand up classically for years to come. I got to do the mother. <laughs> it was kind of creepy and bizarre, but we did the um, the dummy in, in the basement, in the rocking chair, and uh, you know, it, it was an old lady's dress and kind of lace collar and, uh, and you know, the doubles for him in the, in the, in the same print and the same collar when he would come down the stairs, you know. Years later, I have restored our family farmhouse in Arkansas, and stone by stone, we reconstructed the, the basement, and I realized the first time I walked into it, oh my God, I've built the psycho cellar. 